Hello, my name is Anujamin and today I will be showing you how to use RStudio. The first thing we will do is we will open up RStudio and we will be creating a new R project. Second, we will be downloading a .csv dataset from the website I will show you later in the video. Third, we will be importing that dataset to RStudio and then we will cleanse the dataset, edit the dataset and then at last, we will plot the data set. And before we get started, I just want to show you the link. This is the link you will go to to download the data set. But in order to download the data set, we need to take a few other steps before we download it. So now we will open up our studio and we will go to File, New Project, New Directory, Empty Project. And here you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it Anujamin, my first name, my last name, R Studio Tutorial. And before I hit create project, I just want to show you what this will do. This will create a folder on my desktop. This will create a folder on my desktop and it will contain all the files relating to this project. So from now on, anything I do with this project, any files I download, I need to save it within this folder. So I'll say hit create project, and there it is. This is the R project. And now, as you can see on the bottom right, it has a few tabs you can go through. There are files, plots, packages, help viewer. So in files, it will show you whatever files you have within your folder. In plots, if you plot something, it will show you all your graphs, charts here, packages. These are all the packages you can download. And there are many other ones you can also get for R. The, the last one is help. And here you can look up any code or any command and it will tell you what it does and how to use it. The last tab you will not worry about. And now let's get started. As you can see, we need to download the data set. So we will go to the link. And once you go to the link, it will bring you to this page. And as you can see here, there are several data sets you can work with. But we will be opening the auto.csv data set. So we will download this data set. And we will download this data set into our folder that we created. So it's already selected for me. So I'm going to say save. And now it is saved within my folder. So now I don't need the browser, I can close it. And now I can go back to our studio, and here it is on the bottom right, you can see auto.csv. And remember, this does not mean that the data set has been imported to our studio. This only means that it is in our folder. So now we will need to run a command to import the data set into our studio. And before we do that, we will need to rename so I'll rename it something simple, say A1, say A1 equals read dot CSV parentheses quotations auto dot CSV. So I'm telling R Studio to read auto dot CSV file in my folder. And I'm telling, saying I have headers in my data set. So header equals true, comma, NA dot strings equals question mark and before I hit enter I just want to tell you a little bit about the last part of the command it says na dot strings equals question mark so what this command does is it will remove all the observations that it contains question marks within your data set because if you have question marks the results will not be accurate so we don't want the question marks so we, when I say enter it will remove all the question marks. So now we have a new data set called A1. As you can see on the top right hand corner, it says A1 and it tells you that it contains 397 observations and nine variables. So now we need to take another precaution and we would like to delete all the observations that also contains NAs because NAs will give you the same results as having question marks. So in order to do that, we will rename the data set we just created and we'll rename it to a1 new equals na.omit 
parentheses a1 and now if I had enter it's gonna create a new data set and now it's gonna say it has 392 observations so as you can see five of five of the observations had NAs so now it got rid of that so now you can work with the data set so now you can work with the data set and let's say you want to know the names of all the observations within your data set all you have to do is one command called names parentheses and write in your data sets name and a1 so now it tells you all the names you have or all the variables you have within your data set and let's say you want to know the range of some of the variables all you need to run is range parentheses a1 new dollar sign mpg and there it is I will tell you the range of mpg which is from 9 to 46.6 you can also run some other some other ones if you would like so I'm gonna run another one a1 new dollar sign horsepower and the range of horsepower is from 46 to 230 and now let's edit the data set so now let's say for example that observations from 265 to 285 are not important to your analysis and you would like to get rid of them and the easiest way to do that is first of all rename the data set again so we can rename it a1 new 1 equals we'll say a1 new brackets minus c which will create a vector and we said from 265 colon to 285 and comma so let me show you how this command works so after bracket after the bracket it says minus c so this means that it, it has created a vector from 265 to 285 and because it is minus it's going to delete observations from 265 to 285 and we need a comma after that because this within the bracket represents x and y and we are deleting all the x's or all the observations from 265 to 285 if you run this it's going to create a newer data set called a1 new a new one and now as you can see it went down from 3892 to 371 observations because it deleted all the observations from 265 to 285 and now let's say you want to delete a variable because you think it is not important to analysis in order to do that in order to do that we will have to rename a new data set again so we will say a1 new 1 2 and we can say equals a1 new 1 brackets we don't want to do anything with the x's and we want to say minus 1 because anything after a comma is y so we want to delete a variable which is a y and if you say minus 1 it will delete the first variable to the left so when you say hit enter as you can see on the top right hand corner now it has a new data set called a1 new 112 it has 371 observations and it has eight variables so now you would like to plot this data set and if you use the plot function it will find the best matching graph or chart and it will plot it so let's say you don't have a specific one in mind because you use plot function and you can say a1 new 12 and dollar sign you want to plot displacement comma a1 new 112 dollar sign cylinders so now if you hit enter there it is on the bottom right you can see your plot and now to make it easier to plot instead of writing a1 new one new one two dollar sign if you want to get rid of that you can run a command called attach and you can attach the data set which is the new 12 and once you hit attach you don't need to write that anymore because now our studio knows that you are referring to 
a1 new 12 data set so now you can plot displacement comma weight and there it is you plotted weight and displacement and we don't need to write a1 new 12 so now this is much easier so now if you want to let's say if you have a specific plot in mind and then let's say if you want to plot histogram so we can uh, run a command called hist parentheses we want to plot cylinders we can say cylinders and let's say you want to change the color of that to let's say blue so you can say blue okay so now let's say you have a specific plot in mind and for example let's say if you want to plot histogram we can say hist and we can say if you want to plot cylinders you can say cylinders comma and if you want and let's say you want to change the color from you know if you don't want black you can say color equ equals blue so now as you can see on the bottom right you have a histogram of cylinders and it's blue and you, there are many other colors you can try uh, if you want to try yellow you can try yellow and it changes the colors to yellow and for example if you want to plot in and now if you want to plot something else you can say plot origin origin and year and let's say you want the color to be red so we name the red and now there's origin and year and it is plotted in red so now you know how to import a data set into R cleanse the data set by removing question marks and A's within the data set you can edit the data set by and now we can edit the data set by either removing observations or deleting variables if they are not important in your analysis. And, and at last, now you know how to plot a graph into our studio, or you can use a specific plot. For example, you can use histogram and you can change the colors. You can also, you now you also know how to use histogram and you can change colors of the data set of the plots and that's it this is my video thank you so much for listening and have a nice day thank you